You feeling all right there? Just, I didn't get into the fraternity I wanted. Why not? Well, they made me do a bunch of weird stuff. Like what? Like, first off, they made me sing Billy Joel's We Didn't Start the Fire in front of the president of the fraternity. Wow. I mean, that was nothing, I guess, but it just got worse from there. What happened? They made me lick two doorknobs in a row. I mean, like, what? I saw a guy lick a doorknob a month ago, and I was just mentally scarred for life. And now they want me to lick two doorknobs? What's wrong with these pe people? Well, damn. That's not even the worst part. What's the worst part? They made me sing Despacito in front of a group of international students. Oh. In Chinese. Oh. I made a complete fool out of myself. Oh yeah, you know what? Teresa was there. She told me about it. She was there? Gosh. I don't think she's gonna look at me the same way. Yeah, that's rough, buddy. I think they also wanted me to walk around the gym half naked, and that's when I just gave up and laughed. Yeah, I don't know about that, but I'm sorry you didn't get into the fraternity. It's okay. I don't blame you at all. Maybe I could talk to the president. What's the fraternity name? Uh, it was Alpha Delta Omicron. Alpha Delta Omicron? Yeah, I mean, it's such a stupid name. Who the hell names a fraternity after COVID variants? Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I could talk to the president. I am the vice president after all. What? Yeah, I'm also the person that made you do all those stuff, too. Are you, are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh gosh. Ain't that funny? Christian. Christian. Can you sing Despacito in Spanish? Oh, hell no. Reporting live from the SF the Bay where we stay and you know what we best at Marcus Hall Studio One, that's the best set Number one show in the game, at your best bet We giving y'all quality, y'all better trust that It's for us, by us, do this, make the impact Hi again and welcome back to another episode of Under SF the Bay Before we start, I just wanna say that I talked with Christian and I told him not to worry he just needs to sing in front of the entire television crew. Uh, hey, Teresa, this is Christian from the control room. Um, yeah, I didn't agree to that at all. Come on, Christian, the entire world needs to hear your voice. I'm pretty sure they don't. Let's just get the episode going, okay? All right. Today, we have a very interesting program about culture at the SF State. We will be talking with some clubs and some of your students to know what options there are and what are the best things to do on campus. As always, we have three incredible guests today to talk about their clubs. So stay tuned to know more. Hi everyone, Adam here, and today we're gonna to be interviewing a lot of interesting people, such as Paolo Campos, the president of the Cinema Collective. Welcome to Under SF The Bay, and thank you for coming. Thank you, thank you. It's kind of cool to be in front of an audience. Absolutely, <laughs> well, we love to have you here. So, Paolo, how about you tell us a little bit about the Cinema Collective, something about your role, how it was created? Sure. Uh, well, right now I'm currently president of Cinema Collective since uh, fall of 2021. Still going strong. Um, you know, it's hard to say because as a collective, we're like an open org, so we usually like to uh, host meetings and have it open to everybody. Uh, it consists of usually workshops and demos for equipment, having speakers from the industry or from here, from state, talk to uh, other students about it, or uh, in the rare cases, but like really fun cases, we have uh, film fest to showcase student films as well. Like our horror film, we had like a couple weeks back. Um, so, you know, those are some of the only, some of the small things, uh, but I feel like what it's really about is uh, just uh, getting a community centered on cinema and like trying to find those people together so, absolutely yeah. and that's what it's all about and that's so great mm -hmm. that you can create that kind of organization that can you know share that one common passion right we all yeah <laughs> you know everyone has their different flows but you know you'll find a niche for people right. you know there's yeah. some people out there who just love like lighting or uh, dping other times people just want to be a writer Right. So, you know, we have workshops and stuff like that for people. That's like that. incredible. And that's how you learn what you like, right? By putting yourself in different positions and feeling it out. And Yeah, that's how I started. So Absolutely. now we're here now. So we're reaching up big up top. <laughs> exactly. So you, uh, what's your focus then when it comes down to cinema? Where do you find your passions? Uh, so, I mean, I just got my hands on my own script and I got to direct it. Uh, my film not too long ago, Amaru. Um, and it was a really fun set. Everything I learned from sets from there just kind of clicked. And I had some people from Cinema Collective help alongside personnel. 
friends. So uh, as that's the really fun collaborative effort is just having people that you know and don't know collide and seeing what works. And if it doesn't turn out the best, it's okay because we're still here at State. Exactly. We're still learning. Right. We're all but it turned out fun. And I think it's going to turn out great when I'm finishing up right now. Absolutely. Did you have um, a release date? And do you know where we'll be able to maybe watch it? Ah. <laughs> so uh, as current of the editing process right now, I'll probably be done with it after break. So maybe around December 1st. And then I'll show it around the circuits. And then maybe I'll have like a small screening here at State and maybe at some other places too. But, you know, that's kind of the range I'm looking for. That is so great. Sounds like so many amazing opportunities that you can really get it is, Cinema Collective. It is. It's like one of the one things about Cinema Collective is like you can like start your own production and just ask for people around help. We love to promote it on our Instagram or Discord and such. Like where if people need a crew call or anything or a casting call, that's what we do for them. Absolutely. And I'm going to finish this um, with this question for you. How yeah. can students get involved with Cinema Collective? Sounds like there are so many awesome opportunities and I bet a lot of us out there would like to get involved. Yeah. Um, you can pretty much find us on Instagram uh, or email us. We have an email as well. It's available on that page because a lot of people, you know, it's funny because when people say that, I say, well, it's really up to you. It's open. You can show up to any meetings you want, whatever interests you because, um, like, if you're not into, like, writing, well, you don't need to come to that workshop. There's no, like, membership or anything. We try to make everything uh, accessible and free as possible. Um, and we also like to, I also like to shout out other like orgs like Feminist Filmmaker uh, or Latinx Film Club who like, you know, those are like branches that specific, are specifically focused on areas in film around culture or gender. So we like to like promote those two. But other than that, I mean, I mean, you shoot us a DM, you shoot me a DM or something like, of course, I'll tell you what we'll have next coming up for a meeting or something. That's great. It's open though. You know, anybody can come in. Oh, that's awesome. Well, thank you so much, Paolo, for coming. We really, really yeah. appreciate it having you, you having here. Me. And as for you students, consider joining this amazing club. <laughs> now we're going to talk to some of you to know what clubs you're interested in and how you experience the culture life on campus. Let's see how AJ's been doing. Hello, and welcome back to Street Talk. I'm here with Vincent. How are you doing, Vincent? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Not that bad. All right, first question of the day. What is one word to describe SF State? Uh, I would have to say green. Green? Yeah. Green? Yeah. Boring? <laughs> Boring in what ways? I just think, you know, sometimes it's like I wish I wish we had a bigger campus life. I wish we were a D1 school. I wish there was some tailgating. You know, I just wish there was more school spirit. So I think it's a little bit boring at times. Yeah. I would say busy, but in like a good way because there's always like activities going on. You could always find something to do. There's like never a boring day. And it's also like a great way to make friends too. Like you just show up somewhere and there's like something going on. Yeah. What is some fun things to do at SF State? For me, it's actually hanging out in the studio with my friends and like preparing for the show, some pre-production stuff. The Depot has some great stuff. You know, they got concerts Tuesday through Thursdays. Mm. They got open mics. You might see me out there. Ooh. Uh, okay. you know what I'm saying? It's just like explore, go to like clubs and like kind of activities on campus because there's like a lot of them. Uh, last question. How do you feel about Greek life and would you join? Yeah, I'm not against like other people doing it. I think it would be so cool if it were free maybe. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. I'm honestly, uh, I'm in Greek life actually. Oh, okay. so. Describe it. Talk to us a little bit. I know you can't say too much, but like how do you feel? <laughs> I mean, it's, it makes SF State better, you know? I mean, you know, it's fun to um, meet more people. It's a good way to expand your social circle. It's a good way to, you know, uh, have fun at nights at uh, that time. Yeah. I think, like, with a little, like, convincing, I might join. Would you? Sure. That's, like, an American thing, and in Germany, we don't have that. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure. I think I wouldn't join, probably. But, like, also, you have to pay to be in there. Yeah, that's and true. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I don't, I'm not sure about I'm that. a college student. I gotta yeah. pay things, yeah. <laughs> I think. Greek life is the coolest thing that has ever happened to anybody in the world, personally. Like, if you're in a frat and you, your whole personality is that, like, you're probably the coolest person I've ever met. You know what I'm saying? You're not a loser. You're, like, definitely not lame. And I don't hate you at all. Let's go Greek life. And that's all I have today. I'm AJ. Uh, I'm uh, Vincent. Back to you in the studio. Love you. Hi again. We're now going to be talking with Maya from the College Students and Broadcasting Club. 
Welcome and thank you so much for coming, Maya. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely, we love having you. For those who don't know, Maya was one of our hosts of our last <laughs> season of Under SF, so it is so great having you on camera again. Thank you, it's so fun to be back and be in the studio and, and get to meet you. Absolutely, right? We love to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> so how about you tell us a little bit about the club that you're a part of? Yes, so CSB stands for College Students in Broadcasting and we are a student-run club and um, well, our, our goal really is to uh, bridge, you know, our formal learning in the classroom to the professional world. And um, a big part of that is, you know, creating opportunities for students to connect with professionals in the industry and also kind of create that networking community for our students. Um, so, yeah, that, that's our main goal and what, what we do. That is so <laughs> well. That's awesome because I think one of the hardest things, especially in the industry that we're in, is finding connections and getting that networking. Because that's half the battle, isn't it? It totally is. It, that's half the battle. And I think a lot of the work we do too, it's all collaboration. And, and I think it's great. You know, yes, you can meet you know your classmates in class in the classroom, but it's it's fun when you have you know different ways of meeting them and connecting. And so the big thing that we do is having like a Becca bash. Um, that's our like semester celebration towards the end of each semester we get together um, you know maybe we'll meet at you know some fun restaurant in the city or maybe we'll meet on campus we do both so you know we can enjoy the campus but also we're in San Francisco it's a beautiful city um, and yeah so we, ha we have the Becca Bash which is really fun we also have um, panels where we have guest speakers come in um, a lot of alum too we have a lot of alumni that come back and and give us, gives us tips and share their stories and, and connect with us, which is really fun. And, and yeah, another thing too our, our club does is we, you know, we design what graduation celebration looks like for a broadcasting department, which is it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. It's really meaningful. And, uh, but yeah, no, our, our club is not just for broadcasting students, even though it's run by us. It's really for any student who is interested in media and entertainment, TV, film, you know, audio, video, anything, you name it, this club is for them. That is so awesome. And that's so great because it sounds like you get to work with such a diverse group of young professionals. Yeah. You know, you meet people who rather have different types of work ethic, different, you know, ideas that maybe contradict yours that you can learn from. You know, totally. it's the best learning experience in the industry is working with people, right? Exactly. And the fun thing, too, is the industry is so wide that there's so many different facets and you have students who are interested in audio, in video, in writing, and then you get them all together at, at a restaurant and they'll start talking and suddenly you formed a production team without even realizing it. Um, and I think that's a really fun part too. And if you, you know, just are interested in media, you know, you get to meet all these people who are passionate. But also a big thing is, again, you know, making those connections with, with uh, professionals. And a lot of alums are, are doing some really fun, great things. Um, last semester, we had April Scott from KPIX come in. We had um, Katie Walker from NBC Sports come in. Oh man, we had a, a whole bunch of people. Um, Sharon Profis, she uh, at CNET um, graduated. Not, not. I mean, you know, relative to the other guests, a little bit longer ago. But um, you know, they always come back and, and share their story and tips and, and advice, which is so helpful and um, and it's fun to connect with people. You never know what your connection might be to. So. Absolutely, and I think, you know, especially at this day and age, that's what we need, right? The connection Absolutely. and that's so awesome. So, you know, I'm gonna end off with this because it sounds like there are so many awesome <laughs> opportunities that come with CSB. Yeah. How can students get involved? Oh, that's a great question. Well, um, we post every like new event that we're about to do or different meetings we have, we post that to our Instagram. Um, CSB at SFSU, no, sorry, CSB SFSU. That's our, our uh, username on Instagram. But we also, what's also great about being a broadcasting student is we have our own Discord channel that's very active. So um, I'll definitely send you that link and you'll let everyone know. Um, but yeah, a lot of broadcasting students are on there. You can learn about the different classes and connect with people and even jobs. I heard about a PA uh, job on that Discord and, and you know, it, it was great. And so we post a lot of our events on that Discord too. Um, and yeah, that we, yeah, follow us. That's the best way to, to reach us and, and to join. Absolutely. And we will definitely post some information on our Instagram page too for those who are following. If you do want to get involved, definitely a great opportunity. Well, Maya, thank you so much for coming. And as for students, 
consider joining this club. It sounds pretty amazing. <laughs> Up next, we're going to have another roommate from Hal Skit. So let's tune in. Yo, Navit. 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 <laughs> Navit, oh, oh, wake oh, your ass oh, up. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, what happened? Where am I? Oh, man. They didn't expect you to show up so early. What time is it? Is dude, it like 7 in the morning? Dude, it's 1 in the afternoon. Woo! Man, you missed the hell of a party. Yeah. I just want to know, what the hell happened in here? It looks like a tornado that flew up in here. Man, we had a wild party last night. Thought he couldn't make it. Yeah, no shit. By the way, where the hell is my milk? Oh, damn. Not with did the you milk use, again. Did, did, you use your, your, did you use my stuff to moisturize your feet again? No, I didn't. I didn't. Really? Mm-hmm. Your girlfriend did. Your ex-girlfriend. Wait, she was here? She was, yeah. This party she... made her the happiest she could ever be. Trust me. And you yeah. let her in. I did. I felt bad, man. Listen, let's forget about all this nonsense. We got to clean this up. Are this you serious? Bad. Yeah. You serious, man? I just came home from a hard day's work, and now I got to come home to do more work. I understand, but... I just okay. cleaned this place, man. We got to do this together. I'm going to help you. Don't worry. <sighs> okay, fine, let's do fine, this. fine, let's do this. fine. Let's just clean up. Come on. Let's clean. Clean, clean, clean. Whoa, 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 You're not whoa, gonna whoa, clean whoa. up your own mess? Man, I gotta get my clothes dirty. I got a big day. I gotta look the best I can be. Oh, really? Yeah. And what exactly for? Mm -hmm. Well, true story. When I gave your ex-girlfriend the milk for moisturize, we made a real connection. Let's just, let's just say that. What the hell are you talking about, Navi? I'm talking about your ex-girlfriend, man. Or should I say my girlfriend? Anyway, anyway, let's, let's not get angry and stuff. We got to clean this up. That was my phone. We got to clean this up. Could you do that? I got I to gotta take off. I got a date. And I, when I come back, don't be here. You know what? Just take a, take a, take a walk or something. No, 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 no. And last, but certainly not least, we have a very special guest with us here today. Jada from Fangirls On Air, a weekly radio show on KSFS Radio. Welcome and thank you for joining us today. Hello, it's good to be on the actual show. You know, I work behind the scenes here, but I'm happy to be in front of the camera this well, we time. We love having one of our family <laughs> friends here with us today, right? <laughs> well, Jada, how about you tell us a little bit about the show? How'd you get into it? What's the key with it? Yeah, so my show is called Fangirls On Air. Uh, I have it with two other co-hosts, Maya and Luna. They are also Becca students. And we are taking it as part of the Becca class, Becca 305, which is radio and podcasting one. And I'm pretty sure it was podcasting like when it was during the pandemic because, you know, people couldn't come in to do a radio show. But for the most part, I think everyone in that class is doing a live radio show now. Yeah, that is. And so how often do you do the show? So my show, it's weekly on Tuesdays. 2 to 3 p.m. on, uh, I think, the KSFS uh, radio station. It's a internet-based radio, so uh, you could access it through the website. It's beccamedia.net slash KSFS radio. And yeah, we go weekly for an hour. Sometimes we go a little over because I don't think there's anyone after us, uh, just because we have so much music to play. And I guess, yeah, I'll say a little bit about what it's about. So Please do. Fangirls on Air. Um, it's a show where we embrace our fangirl moments of the past and the present. It started because me and Luna, we are One Direction fans, like from since we were younger. And then, you know, we evolved to Harry Styles and like, but it's not just that. It's more a whole bunch of other music. Maya, she would say uh, she's the old soul of the group. She plays a lot of Elvis and a lot of music like that. So there's a there's a big variety in the type of music that we play and what we talk about, but for the most part, it's just us passionate, talking passionately about what we like, what type of music we like, among other things too. 
and just what we fangirl over. That yeah. That's so great. That's awesome. Well, I feel like especially I think subcultures are something that aren't always necessarily in the mainstream. So it's mm -hmm. really cool that you're bringing that forth for the public to see, whether it's an SF State student or just someone in the Bay Area. That's that's really, really incredible. Um, so, you know, you talked about having different, you know, music preferences, tastes, and what you like to play. Um, with the radio station itself, are there limits on what students can and can't do? Like, up to the mind's imagination when it comes to the songs they want, the style? Yeah, so I think before the radio station had a limit of after 5 o'clock, you can't play music with curse words in it. But now, 24 hours, play whatever you want. There's no limits. Like... I think uh, one semester someone just played like duck quacking. It's literally you can play anything you want. We play like unreleased music. Um, as we should, as we should. <laughs> you know, sometimes <laughs> don't, you didn't hear that from me. Um, just music off of YouTube. We mainly play our music from like Spotify. We create a playlist every week that we do and we run it off of that. But it's really anyone can play whatever they want, talk about whatever they want. And yeah. It's just really open to what the students want to create out of it. Absolutely. And I want to ask you, how does the prep work go into each of your shows? You know, um, do you have a set list of the exact songs you know you're going to play? Do you write a script out or do you improvise with your audience, feel the energy of the show? Yeah. So each week uh, we decide what we kind of want the theme of that episode to be. So, for example, the last show that we just had yesterday, our theme was movies or cinema so we basically wanted to play music from a, uh, some of our favorite movies or some of our favorite movie soundtracks and then just talk about like oh what that means to us like so then we'll create the playlist beforehand and then decide like once we're on the air how we want to talk about it and segue into each song why we like each song what things it's from and everything yeah. that is so great to hear i really really love to hear that um, i'm going to finish with one more question you know is there anything you'd like to tell students that might be interested in whether joining the class starting their own radio show getting into podcasting radio whatever yeah well i myself am not a radio person i never thought i would be getting into radio but it i just thought it'd be a really fun class to take because you know like you could do anything with it and if you're not into radio it's still a really fun experience to have your own show, be able to talk about whatever you want, play any music you want, meet new people in it, and yeah, I just, I recommend it. That's so great. Well, Jada, thank you so much for coming here today. Thank we you for having me. Appreciate it. Absolutely. And remember to tune in Tuesdays from 2 to 3 p.m. You don't want to miss out on Jada. Thank you so much, Jada. <laughs> That's been super interesting, guys. Thank you so much to all of our incredible guests for being here today. I hope you have really enjoyed today's program and, you know, have a clear idea of which club would you like to no join next semester. Thank you so much to all of you for watching the sixth episode of Under SF Debate. See you again next week for the Sports Special Program. Reporting live from the SF debate where we stay and you know what we best at Marcus Hall Studio One, that's the best set Number one show in the game, at your best bet We giving y'all quality, y'all better trust that It's for us, by us, do this, make the impact Run by the pit, man, you better tune in, yeah We got they minds lifted, oh so gifted Serving greatness, the city reverberates this Communicate through the screens and the ways Can we broadcast and put the B up and back for radio shows, podcasts, we the mecca Check up, hit that one, two from the mic check Now it's time to go live, don't know what you might get I know that you like this, the content is priceless And after this song, I just know that I made a fan And let me give a shout out to Jada Jans For all these young artists, yeah, you gave a chance Let's jam out to the music, get you in the mood quick On the SF debate, yeah, let's do this